Hello everyone and welcome to another mod spotlight for Farming Simulator 2013. Now today we're going to be going over a John Deere 9630. Um, this, to my knowledge right now, is the biggest tractor that I have ever used. Um, it's got to be in the top five biggest tractors for this game. Uh, so let's go ahead and have a look at it. We hit the store here. Um, we can see it's a John Deere 9630 with drilling wheels. Um, it has 530 horsepower. The daily upkeep is $314 a day. And it's going to run you about $216,000 uh, to pick one up. Um, the information here suggests that you're buying a used tractor because um, it does show that it does already have some work hours on it. And it's a 2011, so I'm um, assuming that you're just buying a used tractor, but whatever. Um, it'll work the same. Um, nothing really there. Um, if we go ahead and have a look at the outside of it, um, there's a few things that stand out right away. One that stands out is you have three very large tires, which are actually taller than your player, um, on each side, on each axle. Um, so that's crazy. Um, you also notice you have very large, uh, I guess, air filter there, air intake, and very large exhaust pipe there. Um, you have two lights up there on the top. I uh, also have a uh, blinker up there. Um, you come to the back. Um, you do have two kind of warning signs up there at the top. Uh, then you come down. You have two lights on each side of the rear bumper or fender. Um, and then you have uh, like warning lights, turn signal type stuff below that. Um, then you come down. You see back there on the back of the cab is one of the little warning triangles. Um, next down here you have a PTO with a three point and a pin hitch down here which looks like a very large pin hitch. Um, you also have a, quite a few hydraulic hookups and such back there. Um, we come around to this side um, you'll notice that there are these uh, kind of warning um, signs here I guess. Um, you have a fire extinguisher up there next to the door um, you have a nice huge four-step uh, ladder there to get up. Um, there's also what looks to be a fuel tank. Um, you can't really climb up there, but it looks to be that uh, orange cap on top of the black. Looks to be a fuel tank. Um, then we come around here to the side. Um, just 9630 logo and then John Deere. Um, you can see the mirrors up there have uh, John Deere logos on them, so that's kind of cool. Um, we come around here to the front. There are five lights on the front. Uh, there's a John Deere logo there. And then we have kind of a warning grill down here with a couple of warning signs. And what looks like a couple of lights on them. Um, up there on the top of the cab, you can see there's a warning light on each side um, of the top. And then just a nice open window there. Um, let's go ahead and hop inside. Um, let's go ahead and see what she looks like. Um, in here, um, you can see that uh, gas cap there a little bit better. Um, we don't have a passenger seat. This is a one-seat tractor. Um, steering wheel does turn with the tractor. Um, this is an articulated tractor, by the way. Um, also, we have a whole bunch of uh, controls over here. It looks like heating, cooling, a um, bunch of toggle switches and such there. Um, looks like a little teeny tiny joystick there um, with a couple of other little buttons and such. Uh, back windshield wiper. Uh, looks like a radio up there. Um, there's a fan. Looks like a couple of mirrors there. Um, that looks about it. Uh, let's go ahead and start it up. Um, it does have a pretty good startup sound. Um, I didn't mention there's also an RP or uh, RPM gauge over there. Um, I don't know. I think that's also speed gauge, and I think it's also somewhat accurate. Maybe um, I'm not exactly too sure about that. Um, if we go ahead and uh, hop out to this view here, if we hit the M key, um, we can shrink it down. Sorry about that, I had another interruption. I keep getting interruptions. Um, anyway, 
um, if you hit the M key you can toggle the extra set of tires um, so you can take it down to um, duals on each axle or you can put it to uh, triples um, also if you hit uh, six you can toggle an additional weight uh, so you can add additional weights to the front there you'll see you can add um, 1250 kilograms to the front um, also you'll see if you hit the number five key you can add wheel weights which I see them now okay the wheel weights uh, show up on the inside tires um, so they're there um, they don't show up on these outside extra tires so that's just something to keep in mind um, she does have a pretty good horn um, these are very 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 nice blinkers here um, I kinda like how they have that large flash radius um, that might be a little bit for some people that have uh, not so good PCs um, that might be a little bit of an issue for you there um, but it shouldn't really be um, if I hit one you can see that the um, left blinkers work um, they work on the rear fender they work on the rear warning sign and they also work on the top of the cab there on the back uh, number two activates all of them number three activates the right side and I'll show you what these look like on the front you can see they operate on the fender down there and they also operate on the top of the cab uh, not the fender the warning sign and the top of the cab um, number four key does nothing um, number six on the number pad does these four rear lights here number seven does not do anything number eight does not do anything and number nine does not do anything um, the delete key adds a backup camera there that you can see uh, so that'll show you a rear view of whatever's behind you as you're backing up as you can see there uh, so we can just go ahead and turn that off um, next we're gonna go ahead and hook up the uh, one of the bigger pieces of equipment that I have uh, you can see it also has a uh, good working smokestack there um, it adjusts as the RPMs adjust and the engine power adjusts so that's pretty cool I'll just back up here attach this guy um, this is a 20 meter seater here so that's why I went ahead and grabbed it um, just for the sole fact that I wanted to see if uh, it attached properly because this is uh, probably the right size tractor for this seater um, Go ahead and hop out here. Um, if we can see here, um, I don't know if that's the cedar or that's the um, tractor, but no PTO connection. Um, also, no hydraulic connection, um, but the three point does look correct, uh, so that's pretty good there. Let's go ahead and detach that. Um, let's just buy something else here, real quick, out of curiosity. Um, I have a feeling it might be that cedar. Um, that cedar is just something I just found here and there um, hanging around. So, um, what do we have? Do I have anything else good in here? Uh, I do have another. This cedar might work a little better. Um, also, I'm not sure about this. Um, Actually, I don't think that cedar is going to do what I need it to. Hmm, that doesn't have a PTO. Well, I don't know if I have anything else in here that has a PTO. I'm running very limited mods right now, so... Um... None of that stuff. None of that. Um... Hmm. Well, anyway. I'm sure that's just an issue with that cedar there. Um, obviously it's pretty good cedar so I don't really um, have any complaints about that either but um, overall um, this is a fairly nice tractor here it's absolutely gigantic so if you're looking for something huge um, to pull you know big farm equipment or you need something with a lot of horsepower or you just like 
a good old big huge tractor. Um, definitely, definitely something to look into. Um, I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, please leave a like below. Let me know uh, what you think with a comment. Uh, also, let me know if there's anything else you want me to check out, any spotlights you want me to do. Um, also, please subscribe below and stay tuned for more great videos. Thank you for watching, and I will see you later.